Today we're in the Techno Gym Wellness Studio in Soho in New York. We're here to explore movement skill and to coach running technique. In order to explain movement science, Lee's a big fan of Mr. Einstein. As he says, make everything as simple as possible, but not simpler. If we oversimplify things, they become untrue. The movement skill model is teaching people how to run very skillfully at a slow speed. So whenever we're looking at people's running technique, we want to look at number one, posture. Gravity is the greatest force on Earth. You need to be as upright as possible. About 160. So it's not directly in between walking and running. All endurance athletes from 800 meters up to marathon beyond that actually run with a rhythm around 180. And it's important, even when you're doing your slow conditioning runs, to maintain that quick rhythm for elasticity and minimizing muscle action. One thing that is going on is we are landing on that heel. This, if it doesn't lead to issues down here or in your shin or in your knee, it can lead to issues in your hip. The purpose of the toe exercises is really to re-engage communication with feet. Number one, can we pin our big toes down and lift the other ones up? Hands and feet are very much linked, which is it's crucial to have relaxed hands when you run. Otherwise your feet will tense up, you just won't know about it. The stronger the intrinsic muscles are on your feet, the more that your arch and your foot will be able to cushion and absorb shock skillfully, naturally. And it's a miracle. <laughs> and doing that thoracic, this will just open up your chest nicely. Bar behind you, straight down, without the bar coming back too much. That's the goal. Next bit of the puzzle is jumping. Ultimately, skillful running is hopping from one foot to the other. Shoulders should be nice and soft. Shoulders should be bouncing up and down. Okay, so make sure your heels kiss the floor. Okay, good. The goal is to be able to do five two-minute rounds of 180. When you're doing the jumps, you want to stay in the same place on the treadmill. Your chin tucked down, like that. See how now your ear is over your shoulder? That's exactly, now do the jumps. And then walk again and just hold that neck posture. So we're running with a straight posture with a rhythm of about 180. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Hands a little bit higher and relax wrists. Slightly quicker on the rhythm. Think, kick your heel up in the air rather than it going, there you go, that's it. As we build up the speed, we're just gonna do a slightly bigger circle, but maintain that same rhythm. So foot landing underneath you, nice little circle, hamstring pull. In order to maintain this rhythm, we're just gonna pick your heels up. Slightly higher heel pull. Arms are along for the ride. Shoulders should be relaxed. Hands and wrists relaxed. There we go. If you want to get faster and faster and faster and be able to run further and further and further, do it like this. <laughs> <laughs>